have Soul Body back with another one at Fell in Love Flavor. What's your flavor? Ensalada E. Wondrous Punch. Ah. So, hey guys, today we have DeAndre. He is going to be cooking enchiladas. Yes. Um, we're gonna call these enchiladas mexicanas, but it's gonna be his take. My take. Um, <laughs> so he has a picture that he's going to try to imitate, and I will show you guys that picture in a bit. Are you really gonna use the phone? I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Um, I will be taking a screenshot of the picture and using it, uploading it on the video, so that way you guys can see what he's trying to make. Um, and we have laid out, I have laid out some ingredients for him here, and I will show you guys that too, and, and then plus, we'll see what he makes. Don't forget, she gotta make your boy a drink. She gonna take on the Runderous Punts, the strongest drink in America, so far in the world, I heard. Let's see what Laura can pull it off. Okay, you guys, so uh, pretty much all I'm doing right now is just setting DeAndre up for the type of enchiladas that he might um, want to make. Um, he's going to have options. These are the ingredients he can use, including the rice and beans. Um, it, and it's up to him pretty much what he wants to whip up. And then tonight we are going to be making a wondrous punch. So these are all the liquors that I will be using. And then I like to dress my drinks. So I will be adding chamoy and tahini. And then I also have some candies from Pika Pika. I have the gusanos and I have the skills. And then our fruits. I have DeAndre here and he's about to get ready. What is the first step? First step I like to do, make sure you always have clean hands. We don't want to filthy hands once making delicious entree. All right, so our first step, we got to cook the ground beef. Okay, you want to put it on a nice temp? I like to put it on high. But we're gonna do eight, cause according to me, I burn the meat, so that's not gonna happen. And then you got my lovely season over here. We got lorry, seasoned salt, garlic salt, onion powder, black pepper, and chili powder. First up, season salt. Second, garlic salt. Third, onion powder. Too much powder. Yes. Got to rip the top off. So, fellas, if you forget to wrap the top, just make sure you pull the top and you pull it back. And I said, wow. What was it? Fourth step? Black pepper. Yep, get up in there. You gotta get up there real nice, baby. Fifth step? Mm, throw a chili powder and get a little spice, baby. A little spice. Not too much, just a little bit. If you do too much, then, ah. My guy, yeah, yeah. But yeah, and last, we're gonna top it back off with Lori's salt. Make sure we get that seasoned salt in there. Get that little flavor up in there. I have to get my handy down spoon. And we're gonna keep turning it for a couple minutes, then re season it. Make sure all the meat get the full, thorough seasoning. You can't just do a little bit, because then you ain't getting the flavor. You feel me? Alright. Just keep, you know, you know, just a little rotisserie style. Not too much powder. Ah, just a little bit. Not a lot, baby, just a little bit, like 50 cents there. All I need is a lot, not a little bit. Yeah, you get it. That looks good already. Yeah, you can smell it. Mm. Yes. Here's the sides of ground beef. Tell us about your plan. Uh, I gotta cook the rice and beans, which might take several, you know. Man, it's hay, maybe an hour. <laughs> We're gonna find out. Have you ever cooked rice or beans before? I cook fried rice. Beans? Nah. Because I'm not a bean person, so <laughs> you won't catch this guy cooking beans. Are you going to try them with the dish? No. Yeah. You're adding some more seasoning? Yeah, I'm going to add a little taco seasoning. A little, you know, ain't going wrong with a little taco seasoning. Open this bad buddy up. Any minute now. That's what happens when you got fat fingers. <laughs> and that, and just sprinkle that little dust. Just sour dust. Oh, it's not that, it's muscle, right? Hmm? 
Your fingers? It's not fat, it's muscle. Oh, muscle, of course. Slow body. You're adding some more seasoning? Yeah, I'm going to add a little taco seasoning. A little, you know, ain't got wrong with a little taco seasoning. Open this bad buddy up. Any minute now. That's what happens when you got fat fingers. <laughs> and that, just sprinkle that little dust. Yes, sour dust. Oh, God, it's not fat, it's muscle, right? Hmm? Your fingers, it's not fat, it's muscle. Oh, muscle, of course. Slow body. Oh, yeah. You want to know how I use to um, cook my tortilla? I just do a little oil. You know, spread a little bit on the little skillet. Make sure you get it up in there nice. Make sure you wash your hands. Don't forget, always a clean hand when you make a delicious dish like myself. Why don't you use your hands to lift the tortillas? You crazy. You want me to burn my hands? No, us Mexicans always use our hands. You deal with gangsta meat. I what? You deal with gangsta meat. I'm not going to burn my fingers now. I'm not going to do that, okay? <laughs> my words with caldo de tomate. Say it again. Is it caldo de tomato? I mean, tomate. Tomate, tomate wait. Yes, yes, tomate. Okay, you're going to get a little block. Oh, my God. You call this seasoning? What is toilet? Wow, I might be on the toilet today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm open to hurt you, you know, kisses or something. Like, what the? <laughs> you call this seasoning? Wow. <coughs> Throw a little more onions on that. Onions? I mean, yeah, damn. I don't see no onions in there. I'm not supposed to put onions in there. I mean, you could if you want to. You have them already cut up. You know what? We're going to try it. Yeah, we're going to do my way. We're going to throw up. Nah, I don't think that's good. That's a good mix with rice. Onions? Nah. I don't know how y'all do it, but we don't do that. We don't do that there. Have you ever cooked rice? Yeah, but not like this. <laughs> Some new stuff right here. Okay, so how is the rice gonna cook? What, you're just gonna eat it hard or what? Uh, I'm not, I'm, I like my rice with sugar, you know. That's how I eat it. I grew up eating sugar rice and, you know. Well, I know then, are you serious? Y'all know about the sugar rice. Come on, everybody know about the sugar rice. I've never put sugar on my rice before. Shh, you missing out. Quick diabetes, baby. Okay, you're just gonna wet toast it until it's like burnt or what? Until well, it's fried, burnt. Who eat burnt rice, baby? Where they do that? Where they do that? They ain't here, baby. We eat burnt rice. Oh, we're gonna mix it all up in this thing. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Dish. What's the back of this? Well, I mean, it's enchiladas too, but I'm going to add like my papas and queso and grits. So. Alright, so. Cheese on it. Let me go ahead and get the scissors. Where is the scissor, my dear? Man, we're gonna just have our <laughs> throw a little, you know, like a throw a little cheddar cheese, my taste, bam. A little bit, not a lot. Just sprinkle a little dust, you know, just a little dust. You won't hurt them. Just a little dust, you won't hurt them. That's. Throw some of this crap. I don't know what it is, but we're gonna roll with it, alright? <laughs> No, you know what? We're gonna put the ground beef in first. Yes. Smell it, smell it. Go door to door. Remember, you still have to close it. Yeah, oh my god. So I gotta put a little bit? 
Gotta put a little bit. She told me that. She told me that bit, baby. Throw a little rice up in there. Let's see. Mm. Smell good. What y'all talking about? Start my own restaurant. Three ninety nine for each taco. You're expensive. Mm -hmm. Okay, now. Now I'm gonna sprinkle a little sauce. No, I'm gonna roll it up. Mm, I'm not a good roller, so bear with me, people. Yikes! But hey, we don't um. Waste nothing, so we just gonna hold on. Sexy baby, <laughs> and then we're gonna hop this bad baby in the oven. Now, while this all done getting cooked, let's slit it over here to Laura, see what she's cooking up for you guys. Okay, so for the drink, you're gonna need a pitcher, and then you're gonna need some fruit punch. Um, some cut up fruits. These are for after, like if you want to dress your drink with something. I, I like to dress my drinks, so I'm going to dress it. And then we are going to be using the 151 proof aged rum cruisin. Mm. The vodka. Oh, yes. Jose Cuervo. Yes. Some navy bay rum. Okay. Um, this is a substitute for Myers. There wasn't any Myers in the store so i bought this one this is the closest one there is to it um we are also going to add bacardi yes, both bacardis the clear and the silver okay and then we have this one sweet and sour let's go it's a mixer and then to mm. top it off with some grenade let's go well of course you have to wash your hands so after you wash your hands you can start you want to open up your pitcher mm -hmm. and you want to start off by pouring all of your fruits in so I have some cherries, some watermelon, and then I have some apples, some strawberries. Okay, be talking. Putting in some pineapple. And what is good for, like good for the heart or health? Good for the heart, what? For the health, no, it's all for presentation. <laughs> all presentation, you heard the lady. You wanna add fruit because it's gonna give it flavor to your oh, drink. Oh, flavor, wow. And then the grenadine. Till the very end and we are going to start off by putting two shots of each bottle guys if you do make this drink at home please make sure you stay home because it will fuck you up How bad? like bad bad all you're gonna need is one drink of this and you're gonna be gone. Wonder Punch, right? Yep, it's called a Wondrous Punch. We first had this drink at a place called Super Dragon. My aunt took us that night we were on our first date, so. Oh yeah, I remember that night. Actually, DeAndre said he was in the restroom and he was actually um, throwing up because of the drink and it was already too late. DeAndre had already drank some. I didn't throw up, it was a guy throwing up in there. No, that's why you saw a guy that was throwing up in Off there. this drink, but I drank it. I, I got fucked up. I ain't gonna lie, but enough of me talking more on you. <laughs> um. So then, also, the only thing that you're not gonna add two shots of is the sweet and sour. For the sweet and sour, you are actually going to be quite generous. How generous is that? Um, I want to say you should pour at least half the bottle. Half the bottle. By the way, what mixer, what flavor are you using? Flavor of what? The mixer, you just pour it. It's sweet and sour. Sweet and sour, guys. Sweet and sour mixer. And then once you have your mixer in here, the next thing you want to do is you want to pour your fruit punch. You can use anything that's fruit punch flavored. I like to use the Hawaiian punch because just gives you a little extra kick and it's concentrated mm. so it mixes well with the with the drink now roughly just curiosity how much all this items here cost you 
Okay, guys, this does cost, because of the bottles, we don't have the bottles already at home. Um, it is kind of pricey to make. It cost about $100 at a place called Total Wine. Um, but the reason that we did buy this is because we are going to be making a lot of drinks. So if, you, if you're if you inviting a lot of people to your get-together, your party, your barbecue, whatever it is, if it's just family, um, this is going to serve for everybody and it's going to last you guys all night. So then you're going to grab a spoon and you're going to mix it. Don't be shy. Deep dab in it, baby. Deep dab. Oh, my God. Deep dab. Okay, mix around the fruit. Oh, and look yeah. at this. It just looks so delicious. Yes, darling. Yes. And then, I mean, of course, you can add um, you can add some ice to this. Ooh, you can smell it already. What does it smell like? It smells like fruit punch. It smells delicious. No, nah, that shit smells strong. Don't lie. <laughs> And then, of course, you want to serve your drink. I like to dress my drink, so we're going to make one dressed. You grab your cup. You grab another plate. Um, this is some chamoy. You want to pour some chamoy in a bowl. And then you want to grab your cup. Stick it in here. And see how it's nice and covered with the chamoy? Now you're gonna grab your tahin, your tajin. I don't know how you guys pronounce it here. And then you're gonna start to sprinkle it. I find it a lot easier if you just like pour it onto the chamoy. Just because, I don't know, it's just easier and less messy. Or you can grab another bowl and then put the tajin or whatever if you're making a lot of drinks. But yep, so you're giving your drink color and of course some flavor. So it's gonna look something like this. And then you wanna pour your drink. Play with your drink a little bit so while you're drinking it, you can have stuff, snacks to enjoy. Just me, personal uh, preference. I do like spicy stuff, so, you know, just add a little something here. To let the little spiciness kick in. And just for added flavor, throw in some candy, mix it up with the chamoy. You guys, I love the marindo, so sorry if it's too much for you guys, but. So the cooking is done. These are DeAndre's enchiladas. He added a little bit of cheese, you know, for a, I guess, presentation. Um, and then these are the final drinks. Mm. And then this is his, of course, because he doesn't like spicy stuff. No chamoy, no teji, no none of that. So you ready? Yeah, so everybody, the food is done, the drinks is ready. Taste test. Let's go. First up. Okay, guys, moment of truth. Let's see how he lot. did. I'm a little nervous. Take a mouthful. Take a mouthful. Open wide. It smells good, guys, so we'll see. That's funny. You wanna tell, you wanna share with everybody what's funny? So, I mean, overall the flavor was good. Um, what I didn't like was that the rice was not cooked, so. That's how you hate it. Let me show you what a boss tastes like. And it's a lot. First take. First time ever. Let's see. Got it. Mm. 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 Mm
you know, I need to use my hands. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my bad. A little hard on the rice part, but actually good shit. That's some good shit. It's just a little crunchy, you know? You messed up in the rice part, right? It's just hard on the rice, but... Oh my God, that's good. Okay, you guys, now moment of the truth. Um, We are going to taste the drinks. Let's go. Laura up first. Okay. Amazing. It's good. I might have added too much liquor, but <laughs> it's going to pass. No more truth. <laughs> we lit. Truth. I guess we could rate this a C plus, I guess. Excellent on the drink. It was all right. My salad was too hot. But anyways, guys, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Smash that notification. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do. Share this, share this, share this.